Here we are in continuation from the last reading. We have the Eight of Coins here. And judgment. Both in reverse. One a card of deep worry. And then another card as you see about disconnection. Worry and disconnection. I felt some worry because I know that I'm connected. I know that I'm not intimidated by anything. I know that what I am feeling at this time is as is I've always felt my whole entire life. Tortured. And I don't feel tortured as in I'm tortured. I feel people tortured. Tortured by them, their own selves. Tortured by their own insanity. Tortured by their own men mental instability. Tortured by their own debilitation. It's tortured. So what you're experiencing is Maureen pissed off. There is nothing to love about an insane soul. Because the insanity is caused by its own repetitional phrases, its own continued hyperbole and oxymoronic nature, its own use of the English language to spell itself into a bind it cannot get out of. So my answer is to not be in proximity, to no longer be in proximity of that. Yet the divine has other plans. Something I hear a lot from the most tortured is God laughs at our plans. I personally don't think God gives enough of a fuck to laugh at stupidity. I don't think God gives enough of a fuck to laugh at insanity. Insanity is not funny. Especially knowing that it will continue to go unloved by its own owner. See, this right here is the Queen of Cups. She has no choice but to love insanity. Water is insane in that it does what it does. It's cool. It's an energy. That's cool insanity. That's slang. Slang is cool. It's insanity. It's rad. It's righteous. It's using words to describe the exhilaration and the exclamation point. But the human that is water, that is life, especially the specific ray that has infected all in one way or the other, like, look, I'm not an insane person, I'm sane. Yet I feel the after effects of my cause. My cause is to love. So in loving, the insanity grows and it grows and it grows and it grows to this massive gnarly wave that I get to ride, that I get to break records with. But in the process, this isn't like a surfer who's been waiting for the perfect opportunity to ride that big ass perfect wave so that everyone can see him win the medal and break the Ripley's Believe It or Not record. 
that will set him up for a life of riches and wealth where he gets to eat the catfish that I'm craving at this moment. No, it's not that easy. This is the heart I'm dealing with here. A vessel with arteries and muscles and everything, just like a surgeon, I have to be careful. I have to be careful to not kill the person that I am healing. This isn't a one-shot deal where all I have to do is hit that gnarly wave and then all of a sudden I'm on the cover of Ripley's Believe It or Not. This is something that I've been riding my whole life. And it's something in my romance I wish there were an end to. Their wish to the end of the torture of Maureen loving them is death. Just like McDonald's, they want it easy. Get me out of here. I'll even help. I'll do the drugs. I'll become addicted to this, that, and the third. I'll get AIDS. I'll do whatever I personally need to do. Like I've always done my whole life because I knew at the end of the day that I wasn't going to survive the torture anyway. So in hurting myself, I'm hurting other people. And then in hurting other people, that means it's going to be quicker for me to get off the planet, right? That's the plan of insanity. That's what's going on in the tortured mind. Looping and looping and looping. Hypnotic rhythm. The genre of my messaging. My voice hypnotic, pouring love into a tortured soul so that they see whatever they need to see to fill whatever that hunger is, whatever that need is. That's what a mother does. Another provides where there is not enough and there is not enough love. There's not enough love in the tortured soul, if any love at all, to make it on their own. So I walk to the library and the people love that I walked to the library so much that the other day I needed to take a break. I was tired. I was hungry, just like you hear my stomach growling right now. I couldn't show face to the world on Saturday because a heart needs replenishing too. And in this romance, my replenishment comes from divinity when I would love so much for it to come from earth. Earth in the form of humanity. Earth in the form of a friend, a lover, a person I can talk to. Earth. Yet... My version of reality calls for Maureen to serve the people rather than be served by the people at this time. It reminds me of a man that I was introduced to in 2022. His name is Merlin. He's popular in the inner city limits of Houston. He walks around all day too. 
He likes to make staffs, so he'll walk around with his staff. He wears a lot of blues. He gives off what people would assume is a wizard energy. So filling in the blanks for himself, obviously he believes that he's a tarot reader. He believes he is Merlin. So he plays the part of this modern fairy tale Merlin. But this is a man that I got a reading from him and I could tell that he was lonely and he was bored and he was sad. And he just wanted any sort of connection. So he kept me at the table for a long time. I had to get up and leave. And then I saw him again on a full moon. And he was doing the same thing. He was giving readings and enjoying the connection that comes with giving for love. But you see... I've never enjoyed that connection. That's why the after effects for me is livid. I've never enjoyed connections in which all that glitters is in gold. I don't derive family anymore from giving to not receive I've given so now it's time for Maureen to receive that's why I do what I do I do what I do not because I care whether you survive or not I do what I do because I've been like Merlin. Serving for attention, for love. A love that will never come unless I do the thing as I am doing right now. Something that Merlin, along with all the other souls that my love pours into is now realizing walking around town for attention is like eating con confirmation and correction like drinking chocolate milk there is no such thing as chocolate milk Therefore, there is no such thing as receiving attention by walking around for it. The polar bear, an animal that has evolved to sustain its own heat. And how does a polar bear stay warm? With its herd. 